Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Today the piece of crap that we are going to look at is called Hash Key, a dedicated one key keyboard for the hashtag. Hashtag awesome, hashtag gamergate, hashtag yes all women, hashtag gay retard. The hashtag is the third most used keyboard character after the letter X and the weird S looking thing that looks like two snakes having a 69, which no one knows the name of. Lack of a dedicated hashtag key has been linked to everything from finger cramps, to delirium, to desperation. After watching the video, I'm convinced that there are two types of people who are going to buy this product. The first type of people who are going to buy this product are the type of people who are highly concerned with efficiency. They will increase their words per minute from 5 to let's say 7 or 8 by adding the addition of a tendril with a hashtag at the end of it. Oh, wow, this is great! Before, I, I, was, I was in awe of what I should do when I wanted to actually use a hashtag. I mean, I see it right there on the keyboard, but there's, there's some numbers next to it. I really don't know what it all means. How do I access that hashtag? The second type of person who is going to buy this product is the type of person who's an asshole and a piece of shit. They're going to call it a gag gift and they're going to buy it because... Let me just clarify something for you guys. A gag gift is, uh, let's say, let's say someone gives me a Tyrannosaurus head beer koozie. A beer koozie in the shape of a Tyrannosaurus head. It is not cute, it is not funny, and I'm going to throw it in the trash and I might kill you afterward. And I do, th I do think it's the responsibility of the person receiving the gag gift to kill the person who gave it to them. I think that's very important. I think it, it is a rule that should be followed with the utmost authority. Uh, if you give me a, a necklace with a wine glass holder at the end of it, thinking, ha ha, you're a wino, here's this, so you can carry your wine wherever you go, ha ha, I'm not gonna laugh. I do believe it takes a special kind of idiot to come up with a gag gift because I was just here racking my brain and I came up with some okay shit, but like one of the things that I thought of was, oh, what about like a USB powered vibrator? Would that be cool? Like, and then I realized, well, fuck, that's actually kind of useful. Like, because if chicks are using vibrators, like, why wouldn't their computer or laptop be nearby? Fuck, a two-in-one special right there. So while they're you know, watching their gay, gay guy porn, and they're masturbating themselves, they could, you know, watch, I mean, use the vibrator. How much does this hilarious gag gift cost you? Well, it costs you 17 pounds. 17 pound signs, that is. I've never actually had to, like, look into, like, the, the ether to, to illustrate a point. I'm, I'm imagining pound symbols across the screen. Maybe that's a dumb gag. Speaking of gags... <laughs> Holy shit, it's a Kickstarter staff pick. This, this means I no longer have to search for shitty products on my own. I could just fucking look at the Kickstarter staff picks and, and know that the good people at Kickstarter are fucking picking out the bad ones. Great. This is hashtag awesome. I love it. Chris Messina, inventor of the hashtag. Oh, great. That's not a, that's not a biased review. Can I be creator of the fucking uh, deep thong? Can I be creator of deep thong if I declare? That will be called deep thong, please. Will you credit me? If you make a deep thong button, can I? Can you pull a quote for me? Here, I'll make a quote. Hmm. Mm. Hello, my name is Matthew Hookin. I am creator of deep thong, and I deep thong love it. Welcome to the diphthong lab. This is where I can concoct all sorts of diphthongs. That is one. That is another. Brilliant. Featured by Time.com, the independent, Metro, BBC, Gizmodo, and every other tech blog or business insider blog. Let's check out some of these blogs, see what they have to say. Apple doesn't make it easy to find the shift plus three shortcut for the symbol. Oh yeah, fuck you, Apple. Fuck you, Apple, you... Fuck you for thinking that your consumer base has even an inkling of intelligence. There's even a dedicated website to remind you of the shortcut. Hashtag on a Mac.com. Well, you know, there's... There's a lot of really dumb websites out there. 
Yeah, well, we, we, we need to make sure that we get this domain so if anyone accidentally types it in their address bar that doesn't default to Google search, that it will come up as how to do a mash tag with a mac tag, mash tag dot com. Dot com. How to do a mash tag with a mac tag, mash tag dot com. I'm getting all hot and bothered over here. I'm gonna get me a, give me, give me a cool beverage, a cool water beverage. <laughs> wow, that, uh, that didn't uh, do what I thought it was gonna do. And now it's time for again the dumb comment of the day. This dumb comment comes from Dot. Great idea. The things people come up with. L love this. Well, Dot, you're a dumbass. That's been that's been it for this week's uh, dumb comments. There's some good news and there's some bad news with the uh, the funding goal and the amount of backers that they have. The good news is they're not going to reach their goal. They have. Uh, Funding goal of 15,000 pounds. They're not going to reach it. They're barely at 2.4k and they only have six days to go. They're not going to reach it. They're not going to get funded. Thank fucking Christ. Now, what I have a problem with is the 125 backers. I need to backhand every single one of those 125 backers because they they are gag gift purloiners and uh, they need to be taught a lesson. A lesson that they are not funny, they are a waste of money, and honey, that ain't cute. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm going to start uploading a lot more Kickstarter Crap videos and uh, Indiegogo excrement videos because I know you guys like them and I've been neglecting you for a very long time. So I'm going to fix that shit. I'm going to stop uploading shit. All this bullshit. I'm not going to upload 7 day FPS videos or any other Game Jam videos. It's a bit of a waste of my time because that's not what you guys like. That's not what you're here for. I get it. I'm also going to be introducing a new series called uh, Fan Mail or Gay Retard Mail, something like that. And uh, you guys can send me, you know, your stories of uh, how you came out of the closet after hearing that I'm a gay retard, uh, etc., etc., etc. Um, you can send me pictures of your dog. No pictures of cats. I don't like cats. You can, unless they're doing like cool shit, like doing a backflip. That's kind of cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, any any other cool shit like that. By the way, guys, the P.O. Box is P.O. Box 2001, Vista, California, 92085. Uh, United States, by the way. I, this is probably pretty obvious. You can send me big packages. I would just recommend you put a return address on there. So that, I mean, if you feel comfortable with that or whatever. Uh, just so that if, like they don't want to hold my package because that's what she said okay uh if, if they don't want to hold my package because i have a really small p.o box they typically hold on to it and i'll be fine with receiving most of them but occasionally they'll be like well fuck this shit and they'll like throw it away they're selling toilet paper with pockets now i see many problems with this idea the first of which being very obvious and that is well it's going to be too thin you know the idea is that you take off one sheet you put your three fingers inside so you have one peaky finger sticking out so you can wipe your ass you know royally you want to do some highfalutin ass wiping now uh now that might work that might work if you have a very i want to suck on your dick i would love to suck on your dick your big gay dick let me suck on your big gay dick uh okay <laughs>